حلفائنا جاهزين يتدخلوا إذا كان في حرب إبادة لغزة. هو شلاب شني شل الملخمة شما توتيا بروغوت. Israel will not agree to a cessation of hostilities with Hamas after the horrific attacks of October 7. We will not stop working until every hostage is returned to their loved ones. For weeks, I've been advocating a pause in the fighting for two purposes, to increase the assistance getting into the Gaza civilians who need help and to facilitate release of hostages. Our security and the prospects of peace in the Middle East depend on one thing, total victory over Hamas. לא בעזה, לא בלבנון, לא בסוריה ולא בשום מקום. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says that there is a time for peace and a time for war. This is a time for war, a war for our common future. בלתי מעורב של עזה זה טרגדיה, אצל חמאס זה אסטרטגיה. זה כל ההבדל. והבטחתי להם שאני לא ארפה מן המאמץ להשאיר את כולם הביתה, את החיים ואת החללים, עד האחרון שבאים. אני אמשיך להילחם עד שנניף את דגל הניצחון. Silva has disgraced the memory of six million Jews murdered by the Nazis and he's demonized the Jewish state like the most virulent anti-Semite. He should be ashamed of himself. The United States will be able to open the international conversation to unite the international conversation to unite the Palestinian conversation to unite the Palestinian 早日得到全面、公正、持久解决。The International Criminal Court in the Hague is contemplating issuing arrest warrants against senior Israeli government and military officials as war criminals. This would be an outrage of historic proportions. International bodies like the ICC. arose in the wake of the Holocaust committed against the Jewish people. They were set up to prevent such horrors, to prevent future genocides. Yet now, the international court is trying to put Israel in the dock. It's trying to put us in the dock as we defend ourselves against genocidal terrorists and regimes, Iran, of course, that openly works to destroy the one and only Jewish state. Hamas cannot be allowed to be continued. We continue to send our experts and we tell people to how they can get Hamas like we did bin Laden. You don't have to do it. And by the way, they've been greatly weakened, Hamas. Greatly weakened, and they should be. They should be eliminated. But you've got to be careful for what using certain weapons among population centers. I've got to ask him, as far as Israel and, and Hamas, Israel is the one that wants to go. He said the only one that wants to keep going is Hamas. Actually, Israel is the one, and you should let him go and let him finish the job. He doesn't want to do it. He's become like a Palestinian, but they don't like him because he's a very bad Palestinian. He's a weak one. But before four months, there was a dramatic increase in the supply of the Jews that came from the United States to Israel. For a long time, we were looking for our American friends בבקשה להאיץ את המשלוחים. בטלנד ארזאסילה, סבשי בלגיה יעימה פילאנלרי, אצ'יק סוליור, ביוט ביר פלאקטה יול אצ'ג'קטוס. They actually sent death squads. They sent death squads here to murder a former secretary of state and a former national security advisor. And as we recently learned, They even brazenly threatened to assassinate President Trump. But Iran understands that to truly challenge America, 
it must first conquer the Middle East. And for this, it uses its many proxies, including the Houthis, Hezbollah, and Hamas. Yet in the heart of the Middle East, standing in Iran's way, is one proud pro-American democracy, my country, the state of Israel. What has happened in Gaza over the past nine months is devastating. The images of dead children and desperate, hungry people fleeing for safety, sometimes displaced for the second, third, or fourth time. We cannot look away in the face of these tragedies. We cannot allow ourselves to become numb to the suffering, and I will not be silent. The president has done the right and we've always had a very good relationship. If we win, it'll be very simple. It's all going to work out and very quickly. If we don't, we're going to end up with major wars in the Middle East and maybe a third world war. You are closer to a third world war right now than at any time since the Second World War. You've never been so close because we have incompetent people running our country. אני באתי לכאן היום למאג'ר שאמס יחד עם השייח מואפק טריף וראשי היישובים של מאג'ר שאמס ועין קיניה. Since this war began, among a population of 2.2 million people, at least 39,000 Palestinians have been killed and 89,000 injured, 60% of whom are women children or elderly people. Most observers believe that the death toll is much higher because thousands of people remain buried under the mountains of rubble. Their bodies have not yet been recovered. The war in Gaza, President Biden and I are working around the clock because now is the time to get a hostage deal and a ceasefire deal done. The entire Gaza Strip has been turned into ashes. The United Nations Security Council has done nothing to stop the carnage. Why? Because the United States and some other Western states have no regard for the lives of the people in our region and for the, and for the peace and stability in the Middle East. There is nowhere in the Middle East Israel cannot reach. There is nowhere we will not go to protect our people and protect our country. 